what we do between him waking up and going for his first nap. We have a lot to say. Do you want to let Mama talk? No? No. The first car ride home was hilarious. We couldn't figure out how to get the car seat out of the car so we could put him in. That was the first step. And then we saw another family with the same car seat and we asked them to help us. And it wasn't meant for an infant, it was meant for like a child. So his head, he like hardly fit and his head kept on like falling forward. So I had to spend the entire ride holding his head up so that he wouldn't slump over. And I'm pretty sure I yelled the entire time. Slow down, don't turn there, don't go, turn. It was pretty funny. And then when we got here, yeah, we pulled up and my parents were here. So they were able to help us into the house. And my mom and dad really, and my sister really stepped up and just took over because I had no idea what was going on. My sister took care of all the cooking for the week. And having them in the house, I have to say, I thought it would be a pain and you were going through all sorts of hormonal stuff. So like, you have no idea how you're gonna be. There's a lot of yelling and crying. I was crying all the time. I was naked half the time, which was like so embarrassing. But like, you do what you gotta do. And luckily I had my family here. We had some nice time as a family, but then we brought in somebody, we found like a postpartum doula who would come in and show us how to bathe him and feed him and be with him when we just needed to sleep an hour or two. Um, it was, I don't want to say it was a nightmare because that sounds really awful and it's a beautiful thing to have a healthy baby, but it was really scary. Do you think that maybe you can take a nap? You can relax and lie back and take a nap? Are you tired?